Earlier this year, I introduced a new Tesla product unlike anything on the market, the Control Bar, by a company named Green Mission, a startup company based in Norway known for their wireless charger for the legacy Model S and X. Back in January, they unveiled the Control Bar to the world, an accessory that brings physical buttons to the Model 3 and Model Y, and it caused a frenzy in the media, with every major outlet talking about it, from Top Gear to the US Sun. It even caught Lou's attention from Unbox Therapy, where he covered it on his YouTube channel. Green Mission ended up selling 350% over their goal, making the project one of the most popular on Indiegogo in February 2023. Still, many consumers expressed their concerns with latency issues, installation, functionality, and pricing. Well, rest assured that today, you will have all your questions and concerns answered because I just received the control bar and I'm gonna unbox it, install it, go over all its features, and give you my honest opinion. Let's get right into it. The control bar comes in a very nice packaging that reminds me of Apple products. On the front, you have a picture of the control bar, and on the back, it shows some of its functions. Inside, we have two USB wires, one USB-C to A for power connection using the glove box port, and one USB-C to C for using the rear vent for power. Inside this small box, we have cable management clips, a USB-C to USB-A adapter, a USB splitter, and a set of stickers that can be placed to use on the control bar. Lastly, we have the control bar itself. My first impression is it looks great and it's built well. The buttons have a good clicky feel and the knob soft click while turning feels good as well. However, the housing seems to be made of plastic instead of aluminum and the glossy front does not seem to be made of glass as I expected. But I could be wrong. It's not a deal breaker since it will be attached to the screen and not held in my hands. But I just wanted to mention that. Now that we have everything unboxed, let's get it installed. Installation is extremely simple. First, use the included wipes to clean the bottom of the screen where the control bar will be placed. Then peel off the 3M backing, line up the control bar, and attach it to the screen, pressing firmly on the unit for 5 seconds on each spot to make sure it's completely bonded. Next, we'll need to power on the unit by plugging it into a USB port. You can either use the port on your glove box or the USB ports in the back seat. I chose to use the back seat since I have a glove box organizer that won't allow the wire to fit. You can route the cable by first plugging it into the control bar, then run the wire behind the screen using the cable management clips. After that, simply run the wire along your center console by tucking it underneath the trim until it reaches the USB port in the back and plug it in. The control bar will show a loading screen until you set it up in the app, which we'll do right now. Since the app is currently in beta and not available in the App Store, I had to take an extra step to get the app using Test Flight, but you don't need to worry about this since the app will be available to you at launch. After downloading the app, you're asked to make sure Bluetooth is enabled to connect with the device. Then, you need to log into your Tesla account. After you're in, the app will check for updates and install them if available. This is what the app looks like when you're in. It's pretty straightforward and easy to understand. You'll see the controls you have linked to each of the available buttons, and the buttons go from left to right on the control bar, starting with button 1 on the left. To set what each button does, just tap on the button number and choose the function. As you can see, there's a total of nine functions, not including the knobs, which are both fixed to control the climate temperature for the driver and passenger. Before we use and review the control bar's features, let's talk about who it's for. From the feedback on the first video where I introduced the products, it's clear that this is not something for everyone. Most Tesla buyers buy Teslas for their minimalist interiors, making things look clean while being easy to use and less distracting, which personally was one of the biggest selling points for me. But sometimes taking too much away isn't always a good thing. The feedback has been mixed, with a lot of Tesla owners missing physical buttons for basic tasks like turning up the climate. Auto Evolution stated that Tesla's lack of physical buttons is one of the worst trends in the automotive industry. Most complaints come from having to take your eyes off the road to tap and swipe the touchscreen while driving. Lots of people say it's not a big deal. However, in my personal experience, it's really annoying. Not only to have to look at the screen while driving, but also to dial in the perfect settings during road movement. With buttons or knob, you can set the temperature and use the car's functions without ever needing to take your eyes off the road. Let me know your take in the comments below. First, let's start by checking out the control bar's main feature, adjusting the climate using the knobs. The knobs themselves have an awesome tactile feel to let you know when changes are made. As stated previously, the control bar uses Bluetooth to connect to your phone, which then sends a signal to Tesla's API to make the changes, complete the task, and send it back to the control bar. Therefore, a delay is something a lot of people were concerned about. Using the control bar, there is a delay. However, it's less than a second and not as noticeable as we thought. 
I'm happy to say that it does not bother me at all. If you turn the knob multiple clicks, it will show the selected temperature on the screen in real time and take less than a second for it to change to that temperature on the Tesla. Other than that, it works as advertised without any issues. Let's test out all of the programmable buttons, starting with the max heater. This will turn on the car's max heat setting for instant heat when needed. Keep climate on will maintain the car's climate even when parked and when you're away from the car. Seat heater does exactly what it says. Turn on your seat heater. However, you can set which seats you want to turn on when the button is pressed. Dog mode enables dog mode, which keeps a comfortable climate in the car for your pet when left unattended. I made an entire video on dog mode, which you can check out here. Camp mode does the same thing, but adds airflow and lighting for overnight camping. I also made an entire video on Tesla camping here. Lock, unlock doors, unlocks and locks the doors with a push of a button. Open, close trunk, opens and closes your trunk with a push of a button. Open the front will simply open the front. And lastly, an additional feature of the control bar is its LED lights, which can be used for ambient lighting or light up the inside of your center console and footwells to find things you're looking for easily. When you set a button to use the LEDs, you can hold down the button and use the screen to adjust the color and intensity. It's mentioned that the control bar will feature speed trap notifications through a subscription, but this is something I wasn't able to test as it's not currently available. Another feature is that the control bar can receive over the air updates, which can improve the product and add new functionality over time. Let me know in the comments what you think of all these features. At the time of posting this video, Green Mission is selling its control bar for $299, which is $30 off its original price of $329. But we'll talk more about pricing and a special offer in just a minute. I've spent the last two days using the control bar, and I think it's a great idea that solves problems for myself and many other Tesla owners. Here are some things I like about the product. Having knobs to control the climate is a game changer for me, as it's how I prefer to change the climate in my car. The buttons make it easy to stay focused on the road and also help keep you safe while driving. The installation is very easy and takes only a few minutes to set up the hardware and connect the app. Build quality is great and I like the overall look. It ties into the Tesla nicely and looks OEM. The app is easy to use and the buttons can be set up in just two taps. Knowing how it communicates with your Tesla, I expected a delay when using the control bar, but I'm happy that in less than one second, it's not noticeable and it doesn't bother me. I also like having the ambient LED lights, which can be used as extra lighting to help find things when in need. There are a lot of things I like, but here are some things that I think can be improved. The amount of programmable functions is lacking compared to similar products on the market. This is mainly due to relying on Tesla's API to control your Tesla, which gives you a limited amount of control. Another negative to this is that your phone has to have a constant Wi-Fi connection and be connected to your Tesla via Bluetooth to be able to use the control bar. I understand this method keeps the installation difficulty low to attract users who do not want to rip apart their cars. However, I personally prefer sacrificing the installation difficulty over features. I would love to have functions to open my glove box, fold the mirrors, and switch driving modes. Green Mission told me that they do have plans for an OBD connection, which will eliminate all of these issues and expand its functionality greatly, attracting a lot more Tesla drivers. The good news, as I mentioned in the features, the control bar does have support for over-the-air updates. Therefore, Green Mission has made it clear that they do plan on adding new features in the future, which is great to hear. When it comes to price, I do find it to be expensive compared to other similar products that provide more features. Green Mission is a startup company, so I understand the struggles dealing with production costs, but hopefully in the future, it can find a way to lower its production costs to provide a more attractive price for customers. If you're interested in the control bar, I can help with bringing down the price by giving you 5% on top of the already discounted 10% using my code Mike at controlbar.com. The link is in the description. What do you think about all of this? Let me know in the comments. Tesla is more than just a car. It's a tech-driven experience. And like all tech, there's always room for enhancement. The control bar by Green Mission is a testament to this belief. By offering tactile controls, it addresses a tangible concern among Tesla enthusiasts, ensuring a safer and more intuitive driving experience. The buzz it created in the media, its overwhelming success on Indiegogo, and its promising potential for future updates make it evident that the control bar isn't just a product, it's an evolution. With its current discounted price and the additional discount using the code MIKE, there's never been a better time to elevate your Tesla experience. If you ever felt the need for physical touch and the digital dominance of your Tesla, the control bar might just be what you have been waiting for. 
upgrade your Tesla and drive into the future today. Don't miss out. Check the link in the description. And if you found this review helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like these two videos. Until next time, peace.